Good morning, guys. Welcome back into Catherine's Backyard Garden. Um, as you can see, I already started working in the Memorial Garden. Um, I went in yesterday, didn't have the camera to to um, record it while I was doing it. And then sometimes I just uh, decide to do things on a spirit of a moment. I What I did, I clipped back all the dead um, leaves on the on the flowers and um, and I went in there and I pull all the weeds from there and I wet it down and as you can see it looks much much better um, I think I'm gonna thin this um, plant right here I'm gonna thin this out because you can I think that's the, I think this is a spider plant right here right here a spider plant they will grow because um, I think I took a piece from close by the house and I put it over here and see how they are. They glow, they grow. And see this is, this right here, you can take this and put it in the soil and you got another, another plant. So I'm gonna even out this side, like I have that side over there, that's what. It's nice out this morning. It's not as crisp as yesterday, but it's um, it's nice. I can deal with this type of weather. I really can. This is what I'm gonna do. And I, I um, I did do some cleaning in the bed as well. I went in and um, get the bed sort of set up in the way I want to plant my fall vegetables but I'm I'm focusing on this memorial um, garden right here the, in this video see these have um, see this on here I can I can cut this off and put that in the soil sometimes what I'll do I'll just dig it up and then break it apart and put it in there. But it looked much better after I did some of the cleaning. I'm gonna decide what I'm gonna do with this right here. But I'm gonna set my video up. I set my video up, I'm gonna set my camera up. Guys, I usually be just so, um, my mind be so, uh, Cloudy early in the morning, I'm telling you. I be thinking one way and talking another way. <laughs> so, you got to forgive me for that. But, yes, I'm going to set this, this up. And let me show you how I'll do this. I'll, what I'll do here is I got to dig this up like this. Cause that's not that was not really deep in the ground. I'll just pull it apart. I'll just see like this. I just open it up. And I can't do that one because that they don't have no root on it. Let's try to find pieces that have a root on it. Okay, I think I screwed up here, but I can I can do these these um I can do these I can I know what I can do. I can put this in there. See these right here. You can put those in. Okay, so I'll move that and put that right here. Sometimes you can break them apart. And um, they have enough root on it that you can break them apart. But uh, you can't put them in there like this. That has no root on it at all. But you can, uh, you can plant these right here. 
Uh, I'm going to move this back a little bit and put that back in the ground. Yep, I messed up. But that's okay. I got plenty of them. Okay, guys, I'm going to go ahead and set this video up. Set the video up. I'm going to go ahead and set the camera up. I'm telling you guys, I'll be so cloudy in the morning. <laughs> My mind is just... And um, I'll show you what I did. Because these... Um, I think this is some type of um, above, above, you know, that you put in the ground, but it's perennial. It'll come back every year. I got to find my scissors somewhere. Yep. Cleaning the memorial garden for the fall. Put some fall stuff in there. Let me find my scissors. Where's my scissors? Okay, guys, I got the, the sniffles. Um, you know, the weather change, and um, when the weather change, uh, this is the time of the year that you get uh, allergy pollen. You know, it's a different type of pollen is out here. So. So I'm congested this morning, but um, I'm okay because I'm used to going through this with a different time of the year. Twice a year I get um, congested with the um, different type of pollen. It happens in the, in the spring and it happens in the fall, so I'm used to it. So. Um, I got up this morning and um, I clean up my nose. Um, I have that Navage, um, we call it Navage uh, pump. And boy, that had helped me a lot with my uh, allergies. It keeps me from going to the doctor's office a whole lot. That thing saved me a lot of money. Um, just by having it, at, and guys, you'd be surprised by just working in the garden how that so many, uh, so much pollen can get into your nose. So I got the Navarre, so I got up this morning and did a good, um, I'm gonna see if I can find some more. I'm gonna hand this off right here. I got it this morning and um, I used my Navage and that helped a whole lot. I don't think I'm going to pull this apart. I'm gonna, I think I'm going to cut this one. Cause I pull it apart and um, I didn't get the root of the other one. I should have cut it and think about that. But I'm going to go ahead and cut this right here like this let's go in there and cut it see i think i should have cut the other one that way you gotta you got some root that's what i should have done i wasn't thinking guys sometimes you just don't think of things right i know i don't sometimes i don't think of things right then and there. Okay. And I'm gonna put this one back over here where she was. I should have cut that other one. Over 
Yeah, don't 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 um, pull it apart like I did the first one. Go in there and cut it with the scissors. Do better. See that? So you got root on both sides. Now, I need to go ahead and put these um, plants in the ground here. Did you see? Yeah. Growing so hard, guys. Yeah, um, like I was saying, I have a lavage, and that thing is it's a miracle worker for me. Because me being in the garden a lot, I, I, I breathe in a lot of dust and pollen and it has me congestion and then I suffer from post nasal drip. So sometimes I don't even know I'm having an issue until it's too late. But during this time of year, guys, if you use that Navage, and I'm not no doctor, I'm just saying what I do, because I don't want nobody, I, I, just what I do, do it twice a day, and boy, that helps me a lot. I needed to put some water in here, because down there is so hard. I'm just going to add some water in that already, because this, this, this thing is hard. Oh, my God. This one already dried out. I need to get it in the ground. Just take some of this uh, root off because it has a lot of root. And I'm gonna add some water in there because give them a jump start. Okay, I have to recharge my, uh, I need to recharge my battery. I'm going to uh, pop another one probably right here. Right here. And I'm going to move this. I think this is too close, so I'm going to move that out the way a little bit. Okay, guys, I should have come out here early before the sun came up. 
And this is what I went around and did. I went around and I cut cut these back. That's what I did. Cut them back. I have um I'm gonna add these in there so I may not have to buy any um any plants to go in here. Because I got enough. Uh, I may have enough. Okay, see that's why I like the Dusty Miller. You just bring out the softness in whatever you do. You know, that silverness, soften it out. One more to go. And I think I add her. This is the one. Put this one over here. Okay, guys, I'm going to put you on that angle so you can see. I, am, I don't want my, my um, phone to get hot in that heat, in that sun, not the heat, but the sun. Um, I'm going to go ahead and water that first, and then I'm going to um, add some of the straw around there. And the purpose of me adding the straw around there is to keep the moisture in the ground, try to keep it in. I think I'm gonna use this area here to plant some onions or something. Okay, let me get the holes so I can water that down.
Okay, guys, and this um, next add the straw. I'm gonna put some straw around there, and that straw is gonna help keep the moisture, keep down in there damp. I need to go put on a mask. I'll be right back. Um, guys, I had to go buy these type of straw here that they have for uh, November because the uh, straw I generally use for the garden went up to $17. Those bundles used to be $10. They went up $7 on a bundle. So what I did is the same straw and it do the same thing. I got the same one that they put out for uh, Thanksgiving and Halloween for $8. I went and get the same and this this bundle it's really packed because this bundle did the front yard and it's going to do this here and I still have some left. So what I'm going to do when they mark down those bundles from Hallow from for uh, Thanksgiving and Halloween, I'm gonna buy it like that. I'm not gonna pay um, seventeen dollars. I mean eighteen dollars for a bundle of straw that used to be ten dollars. No, that's not gonna work. So I'm gonna just put enough down there to. Um, I'm putting enough down there to uh, to keep the moisture on the ground. I don't have to have a lot. Just enough to keep them moist. I went out to um, Lowe's on yesterday and I found some of these uh, plants to put in the side of the Memorial Garden. And it said a sunny border blue speedwell and it's upright perennial. So I'm gonna place some of this some of these in the garden in the memorial garden that's what i'm trying to say i have um i have uh the marigolds i thought these um these marigolds here is so pretty you know it just brings out the fall the color this one is but i'm gonna leave it alone but I have that. I have the red keel as well. So I'm gonna put some of this in there as well. And I'm gonna try to end this video today. Okay guys, the memorial garden is finished. And this is what it looks like. How do you like it? 
I have um this uh ceramic pieces here. I don't know what you call this. It's is I think it may be a lotus flower, so I'm not too sure. But I made that in the ceramic class and I placed that in there. I redo the um the birds. I placed that in there. This little gnome here. You see this little gnome right here. I did at the ceramic class. This one right here. And then this is his. I don't want his stealer. This is his. He's a, he was a stealer fan, so. And I, I bought this from Amazon. This one I think I got from Walmart. I redo that one and freshen it up. I also add a pumpkin in here as well, which will light up at night. The light is on right now, but I guess it's still on. I think they take a fairly small battery. So I add the pumpkin in there. And I'm done. So I add some more straw to it. And um, I'm going to keep it watered because it's we still having some hot times, some heat. So I'll keep it watered. So yeah, guys, that's, this is the end of this video. I finally finished it. I needed to get it done um, because his birthday is coming up very soon. So that's it. Thank you for watching. If you have not subscribed to my uh, channel, please hit the subscribe button. Give me a thumbs up. Uh, leave a comment and you have a blessed day. I'll see you in my next video.